Hello everybody and welcome back to Immortal Life Where today, um, I'm just gonna have a quick look Can't fight, oh, what am I doing? I want my bag open So I think I got a jade ring recently, so I want to fully open up my inventory One of one, so can I maybe get like another page of inventory? I'll be very interested in that actually, I've got a lot of stuff right now, I've got some things to plant as well. I, ha I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these slates. Five heavy bricks that are said to play different sounds when steps on after they're laid on the ground. Interesting. Also, can I put some stuff away? I've got this chest here, haven't I? I seem to have an awful lot of stuff in my inventory right now, so... Maybe some of the wheat, I can sell that later, or I'm kind of keeping some of the ingredients by, just in case I need them for cooking. But I feel like maybe... Health essence. I imagine keeping the... Veggies and stuff on me would be quite good. Super potato, I've got a super potato. Rich in spiritual power, but as hard as jade. Can't be used for cooking. That sounds like something I should hang on to, right? I've got a writing desk as well. I could put that down for something. Put that down in my house. Seven obsidian. I keep the stone. Cinnabar I probably won't need as much as like stone and things like that. And we've got like a load of soybeans. Like, oh, could I could I do something with those? Could I cook with them? Would cooking with them make them more valuable? I've got a big head carp that I should probably just sell because with fish I can always get more whereas it takes a bit more to do the to get the uh, other stuff so oh hang on a minute before I make a bad mistake bell peppers should not be planted until the summer and we're still in the spring right now however those soybeans could be done so I'm just going to take those out and we'll just plant that soybean I'm being a bit um, lackadaisical with how I'm planting at the moment, but that will improve as the series goes on. I think we've already got some soybeans. Oh, we do. Hang on. Let's... Uh... Oh, well, we did. <laughs> let's harvest them. Even more soybeans. Soybeans for the win. And it looks like we've got a cabbage there as well. Apparently they have uh, fixed the bug where the, the tomatoes are giving you fruit even in the wrong season, so... There we go, give everything a quick water. I might buy some more seeds today. I don't, how much money do I have? 75, which will not get me very much at all. So I feel like I need to do some fishing and get myself some money from that so I can buy more seeds and make some profit. Or sell something like my soybeans, maybe. Like, I don't know really whether I should be selling or keeping. It's one of these games, I mean, nothing seems to rot. So I could end up making more money later on, but then if I can't, if I've not got no seed money, effectively. Oh, hello. Lee Meng Kring, you're back, lady. I was looking for you. The old man in the town told me there was a sunset forest in the north of the Misty Valley. We're short of lumber for the construction now. The wood there may come in handy. I explored all the way north and found a hidden entrance at the end of the road. Oh, I know where that is. I've seen that. I've seen that. It's a pity it's covered with dense vines. A single vine is thicker than my leg. I can't cut it off. We have to find a way to get rid of them first. I have an axe here. Maybe we can try it. Well, this axe is quite unusual, but it's not strong enough. The vines have been nourished by spiritual power all year round, and their tenacity is tremendous. It would be nice if we could find someone to upgrade the axe. Why don't you ask Yang? He knows a lot of people, and maybe there are people who know how to do it. I would love to know about that. And go to the Sunset Forest. I'd love to get a new area. Yeah, I'll do some fishing later on. I'm going to talk to them about the hall. And, and the rebuilding first. Are you Yang? No, you're, you're Daozi. Um, so let us go up to the temple area 
I don't know where, where Yang actually is at the moment, so we'll find him in a minute. I'll go and talk to these guys first because I know where they are. In their little reclamation... No. Restoration... Oh, right, there he is. Hello. <laughs> Lady Sheila, thank you for your hard work. You're welcome. Sunset Forest. If you want to know more about enhancement, please ask away. Brother, what is enhancement? Enhancement is a branch of crafting. Crafting refers to making new artifacts or gears, while enhancement is about upgrading the existing objects. Okay, so the objects related to spiritual practice can be roughly divided into five grades. Common, good, superior, epic, and legendary. Enhancement is used to improve the quality of objects. What are the benefits of enhancement? That's a long story. Different objects can be enhanced in different ways after enhancement. Okay. For example, the Watering God contains more spiritual power after enhancement, and the Thundercloud summoned with MP will last longer. The pickaxe will be stronger after enhancement. I believe the pickaxe after enhancement should be able to cut through the boulders on the way up the mountain in the Misty Valley. Oh, okay. The axe will be sharper after enhancement and it can chop down some trees that were difficult to cut down before. I want to upgrade this axe. Who should I turn to? If you want to enhance the axe, you should ask Dalsi from the Baxter's shop. He used to help the practitioner of passers by uh, enhance objects. It's an easy task for him to enhance this axe. Okay. You remind me that for the development of the Goo Insect, we must have our own enhancer in the future. Right, okay. So we need to enhance it to level 2. I'm gonna go and speak to these guys first as well. Uh, hello. Oh, let's talk to you about the paper crane. That was a, that was another thing I had. Um, your timing is just perfect. How about the paper crane I just made? This paper crane is exquisitely made. I was immediately attracted. So you've got good taste. I'm the only one in the Guyan sect who can figure out such an ingenious design. Don't underestimate this paper crane. It's propelled by spiritual power. If two people have each other's spiritual marks, they can communicate with each other wherever they are. If everyone from Guyan sect had one, communication would be much easier. Uh, would you like one first? Give me 800 spirit shards and the paper crane is yours. I have like 75. I'll teach you paper crane communication for free. What do you say? Uh, I really don't have the spirit stones. Can you give me one? I spent so much time and materials on this paper crane for the finished product. This is some real hard work. Alright, it's not easy for you to rebuild the sector on the ruins. Just take it. If you have more money later, be sure to support my research. Come on, I'll teach you paper crane communication. Just inject some spiritual power into the paper crane like this and specify the target. It can follow the spiritual mark and find the receiver by itself. I'll send you a letter in two hours. Try to get back to me with the paper crane. Okay. Lovely. Um, but there was also something else. Build the workshop. Haha, -ha, no more sleeping in the shed. Finally, I asked you to get this work area for me. Look, there are all kinds of tools here. In the future, you'll be responsible for the buildings and I'll take care of the internal facilities. I'll be counting on you for the furniture. Well, wait, that's not quite right. Don't count on me for everything. I'm very busy. It's natural for a great gadgeteer like me to focus on the research of the new devices. You can make the simple stuff by yourself. Here, this is the design of the warehouse. I remember there were workshop ruins in the Misty Valley. Just ask you to fix it. And then you can build facilities and furniture. Oh, cool. Select build when talking to Yu Jing to build and upgrade facilities. Acquired building blueprint, warehouse, learn, design, scarecrow. Oh, cool. After the workshop is built, you can manufacture by selecting the corresponding design. Open the notes tab in the character screen to view the details of the workshop designs. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Hello. Hello. Um, so, actually, I should be talking to these people as well. I was going to ask how to become an immortal, but I didn't expect to do my old job in the end. Oh, bless him. He's like, I came here to learn new stuff, but now I'm doing my old job again. I want to build the set. Oh, cool. Misty Valley Entrance. Okay, so I could do that if I had a sect development 50, sect contribution 5, but I need superior stone. Maybe I could get that in, well, that might be in the mine. I don't know how to get superior stone, so that's going to wait. Main hall, 3,000 spirit stones, 100 lumber, 7 stone, 25 obsidian. I know how to get obsidian and 20 bamboo. Right, I don't even know how to get bamboo. 
<laughs> so that'd be interesting. Maybe I need to leave the bamboo shoots. Maybe I'll get them in the Sunset Valley too. <laughs> and the workshop. A thousand spirit stones, so that's a little bit less. 40 lumber, 25 stone, and 10 obsidian. That should be doable. So I think we should work on the workshop first then. And again, that's 50 sect development and 5 sect contribution. A lot more for the main hall. Okay. Well, none of that is uh, obtainable quite yet. I need to go and work on that. So I would say that the first thing I want to do then is go and work on getting access to this new place. I'm going to give the game a quick save as well. Um, so I'm going to head down into the main village. I forget what it's called. It's the... I've got to find out now. The ferry stop. We're going down to the ferry stop area. And I'm going to talk to the blacksmith all about enhancing this axe. So I think that would be the easiest. Hello. Um, May Jauhan? Exotic procurement. Don't miss it. I've got a lot of new stuff today. Got anything good? What's that? Soul grass seed. Purchased for 75. The seeds of soil grass that seem to imply some pharmacological effects. Okay. Ice bean. Oh, 200. I didn't even have 200. You've got expensive stuff. A water orb containing a yellow frog. Hair dye. White hair dye. A purple jade ring. 16 salts for storage. <gasps> what? No. I want to have like 600 or whatever thingies at 6,000 I think it might even be I want right now jade slips recording uh, illumination and jade slips recording leaf blades so those are spells cooking recipes records of the Guyan sect oh I hope you come back soon because I can't afford anything you've got but I'd like to talk to you. I usually come here to do business at the beginning in the middle of the season. You should come here more often. Oh, okay, cool. So we're in, the, I think, the middle of the season now. So she'll probably come back at the beginning of the summer. And we might have a bit, had a bit of a chance to get more money together by then. I'll probably be still be poor because I'll be rebuilding the sect, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so you got a quest. Do you know where I can buy some crops? Uh, what crops do you want to purchase? Oh. Um. Okay, well, uh, I, 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 no, I haven't. Okay, so <laughs> let's go to the quests a second. <laughs> oh, the only one that's timeable. So I guess what I'll probably do is try and work on those and, and bring them to her when she comes back, but... Um, Crucian Carp times three is the only one that I've got any kind of timer on. So fishing would be really useful. Oh, I've got a letter as well. Uh, lady, the renovation division is finished. Please come over between 9 and uh, 10 p.m. Let's discuss the follow-up plan together, which we already did that. got two friends that I have not met yet. Okay, so now we've got cooking recipes. So I've learned three of 44. And we also have workshop blueprints. And I've got a warehouse and a scarecrow. Oh! So these two things, the warehouse is something I can build in the workshop. Nice. Okay. I am feeling like quite, quite accomplished this episode. Like I've unlocked quite a lot of cool stuff. Um... Um, um, oh, I'd like to ask you to make some tools. Upgrade the axe for a thousand spirits. Oh man, everything takes so much. Seven out of 20 stone, zero out of 10. So I need to go in the mines and get a little bit more. And I also need to sell a thousand's worth of stuff. So I think what I should probably do is go fishing first and get a bit of money that way. 
I think that's going to be the best way. I think I think we get crucian crop here, don't we? Check. No, we do not. Ah. Right, I'd best check the other fishing spot then. And see if we can get it there. So, um... That's fishing ruins. Spring, black, carp, grey, crucian carp. Oh, so we need to be uh, fishing down here then. Uh, uh. Any extra fish I get, I'll be able to sell and have an actual bit of money. <laughs> Would help if I had the fishing uh, thing selected. Fishing rod. Okay, let's go. Come on, fish. A bit harder to see here, aren't they? Oh. Yeah, getting the hang of it now. A crucian carp number one. I feel like fishing will be my main cash cow to start with. A muscle! <laughs> I often expect that to happen on the, on the third tug, but uh, sometimes it's not always no, the case. Like this time. That was four dips. Normal carp. And then I'm going to take a look at the uh, the board. So that's my second crucian carp. Wonderful. I tend to use the keyboard when it's for the actual catch. I find that's a bit quicker. So I've got... And I tend to click on it in between. I'm very strange, I know. Nobody will ever quite understand the way I use keyboards <laughs> and, and scroll through hotbars and things. Right, that's my third Crucian Carp. I'll catch another couple because it's not taking me long to get that. One thing that's good about my fishing spot in my, um, in fact, I'm going to escape now and I'll, just so I can hand it in before. Sometimes it takes a while to find the right person to hand it in to. Oh, a new letter. You must have learned paper crane communication. Now reply to me. Okay, let's see if you can get it. Bye bye, paper crane. That was pretty, wasn't it? Right, so. Uh, was I in the middle of doing so? Uh, quest. And we want to bring Zhu Xiantiao. Okay. And there. Alright, oh, okay, they're up in this direction. Past the blacksmith. One of these ladies up here, I think. The nice thing about these guys is they don't seem to move too much from their stations. The ones that move around a lot are my companions, but they're always very visible on the map, so I'm finding that quite decent. Yay, I got the wheat flour. The crucian carp looks fresh. I'll make some crucian carp soup for my mother tonight. Lovely. Right, so now that's all done, I'm going to have another look at the notice board and see if there's anything that will get me a decent amount of money. I have received a paper crane. Let's have a look at my letters, shall I? Yes, I got it. You're very talented. Let's stay in touch. <laughs> Lovely. 
So we did well with the paper crane then. Uh, <laughs> what was I doing? Notice board. Right, so bamboo shoots. I don't think I have 10. Hair carpet and square carpet. I do not know how to make carpets. And krill. I'm pretty sure that krill is like a, uh, a fish. But I've not seen any on the map so far. And I'm thinking that that might mean that krill... Oh, I can't look at that. No. The map. Might be on a fishing spot we don't already have. So puffer, puffer, carp, mussel, pearl oyster, Prussian carp. Oh no, you can get them in that fishing spot there. So I will take that one and we will fish for krill. Um, it doesn't look like it has particularly... a timer on it either. Which is quite nice. So let's uh, see if we can get krill. And then I will sell said krill. No, sell said other fish that are not krill. Which will probably be like 4 million crucian carp. I have no doubt I'll get about 10 crucian carp to every krill. But this is the way to make the money. Like fishing isn't too complicated and doesn't take too long, so. And it's something where I feel e a bit easier in myself about selling it. I won't feel like I'll get to the next season and need it for a recipe or something. Which is something I very much feel right now. Oh, it's too slow on that. Cover my shame. <laughs> That wasn't a krill. Yeah, I'm no doubt going to have hundreds and hundreds of carp by the time I catch a krill. But in theory, they are here at this fishing spot, so... We shall see. I've caught mussels. But you don't get much, like, choice over what you pick up. You just have to go for it. And like I say, I imagine krill are rare, but I do need... I need money anyway to upgrade my axe, so... A crayfish! New record. You don't seem to have to wait for ages between each catch as well, which is quite nice. So I imagine if you pick, if you do uh, fish up most of the things that bite, then uh... that one was sneaky. Bit on the first, on the first bob, the first bob of the bobber. Number one krill. The krill are going to take a little while to get six of them, but it's fine. By the time I have... Yay, that's two krill. By the time I have six krill, I imagine... I'm going to have plenty of other fish to sell, which is going to be really cool. They did say I could help in the kitchen as well, so I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know whether that just means I can rent the kitchen now or whether they actually do want help. That one was sneaky too. I wonder if you 
you can kind of tell what you're gonna gonna catch by like the color. I wonder if I can overfish the sea. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out at this rate. I may need to go home soon. We'll continue this fishing escapade in the morning. So I've got three now. Halfway there, living on a prayer. <laughs> There's a few things that it says are here that I never fish up as well. So it's interesting. I wonder if that's a day and night thing, if it's a, a seasonal thing, if it's a fishing rod level thing. You can do it. You can get the thrill. Record breaking carp. That's krill number four, I believe. Oh getting ahead of myself there. We'll pretend that one didn't happen. I'm mostly pretty good at, at fishing them up though, aren't I? I'm all right. Muscle. I think the pinky ones might be muscles. I think that might be a krill. The bluey one. I need two more of these krill, okay? I oh, know that was a krill. Lovely. I'm glad it's not asking for anything different than that. The things I'll go through for 500 coins, eh? Spirit shards. They're not actually coins. You need like one more. I'll check after the next one I catch. Right, okay, let's leave. I want to see if we have six krill. Yes, we do. <laughs> I might not be able to bring them to the right person. Oh, hello. Oh, is the krill for you? Lovely. Um,. Old stuff of an old friend. A good insect member. I think I met this Yi Yixin once, but I don't know much about her. Why didn't you just ask Yang Zikrin? He knows everything about the good insect. I'm sure he knows something about her. <laughs> they keep asking. Okay, Krill. Give me my 500. Wait, is that Krill? Well, what's so special about it? Are you a stranger? Krill is a famous specialty of the fairy stock. You can't find it anywhere else. They're transparent and hide it in the sand at the bottom of the water during the day, making them difficult to catch. They become active only at night. Thanks for telling me. They glow like fireflies. They're not easy to catch. I hope I don't go home empty-handed tonight. Oh, I bet you he'll give you the shrimps for free. Are you sure? I'll just take them, but not for nothing. I'll teach you how to cook krill. First, fry the shrimp meat, then mix them with the egg mixture and put them into the pot. Stir fry over low heat until the egg mixture is completely set before taking it out of the pot and putting it on a plate. It smells so good. I learned shrimp omelette. Wonderful. Now, how many shrimp did I have to give away? Just one. Which means we need to do some more fishing because, like, apparently we can only get them at night. So, off we go. <laughs> one more krill, please. It's probably got a recipe, though. I wonder when we pass out, or if we ever do. Crayfish. I 
Oh, my 500 spirit shards. I'm so poor. There we are. Perfect. <laughs> so, Jiang Ping. Who's that then? Maybe not up at, at the moment. Okay, well, I'm going to go get some sleep and I will hand those krill in in the morning. Hopefully they won't go stinky in my inventory. And then we will actually have some money to buy seeds and things with, which will be wonderful. Some more bamboo. I'm going to pick up the bamboo wherever I can. I wonder if... I can chop down these bamboo. Mm, it doesn't look like I can. Okay, apparently it wants me to go to sleep. I can, I can understand that. <laughs> I get like an hour's worth of rest. Woohoo! Look at me go. <laughs> Received a paper crane. Oh, cool. I got a paper crane. Lady. I often think that fish seem to be swimming freely in the water, but they can only go where the river flows. Don't you think we are the same? I don't think so. Don't we cultivate to change our fate? That sounds like I'm a thinking person. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that people don't get annoyed if I don't just agree with them. I wonder if I can plant these bamboo shoots. I'm still not sure how to get bamboo. I imagine it will eventually come to me. I imagine that needs bamboo. I need a good axe. Good axe, AX. There's another one as well. Oh, I received a paper crane. Change our fate. But it is something we're supposed to change. But is it something we're supposed to change? Okay, so we're just having this little, this little letter. So I've learned another cooking recipe for the shrimp omelette look. I'm gonna get some krill now and and buy some eggs and I can make those. It's rather great. Right, I want to find the person with these with these krill and I want to check the bulletin board as well. And then I also want to sell all the other fish that I got. And then we'll see how much money I have left after that. Oh, I didn't water my crops. It's okay though. So who is it that we are sending these to? Yang Ping. Oh, I see them. That you? Yes. Haha. -ha. I have krill for you. Confirm. Great. The krill will taste crisp and yummy when roasted over an open fire with salt and pepper. The snack stand now sells shrimp, shrimp kebab. Wonderful. I love how these things, like when I give things to people or even do quests for them, that, that things are opening up all over the place. It's amazing. It's so cool. How many bamboo shoots do I have now? In my bag. I have four, five, six. When I have ten, I'll take that quest. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about it. I wonder if I should sell these foods as well. I think I might I might be better off selling them than using them. Do you know that? At the moment, I'm so short on money. I've got all of these amazing fish to sell as well. Crayfish sell for 50 each. 
Yeah, let's go for it. Can I sell stuff to you? Fish person? I imagine you'll give me the best price on fish, right? No, I don't want to discard it. Sell it. Spring carps, sell the pollution carps, sell all of the mussels. Oh, that was certainly a, a good fishing run, wasn't it? Sell all these foods as well. Why don't we just sell the cabbage and the bok choy and all of that stuff? Oh, there's one more fish as well. A big head carp. Oh, I never put that writing desk in my house. Soybeans, we have like loads of them. potatoes and sell a few potatoes, wouldn't I? Okay, just keep a few of everything and sell some. And then, hopefully, I won't get caught out. So, now I have 919. Nice. So, if I get myself a few more fish, I should easily be at that thousand I need. Fishing for the win. What else was it I needed though? Uh, 20 stone and 10 obsidian. Right, okay. Let's go and uh, water my crops and then we'll go to the mines. I am determined to get this axe upgraded today. Through fishing. hands, get the magic. Okay, so they say there's rocks. Oh, right, yes. When I upgrade my pickaxe, I'll be able to go up there, wherever that is. Like it. Like it a lot. Right, so we're basically in here just to get, um, well, I needed 10 obsidian. How many do I have? Let's go in my house and get the obsidian out and see how many more I need. Because rocks are going to be easy, obsidian not so much. So I put it away in here. Hmm. That's normal wheat, I see. There's all different, there's all different types. There's like good wheat, normal wheat. Superior wheat or whatever, common wheat. Oh, that would be common. So there's clear and blue, and then that potato was L. I got like some awesome super potato. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, and but I'm keeping it, keeping hold of it. I've got a load of soybeans as well. That's very, very cool. But anyway, obsidian. I've got seven already. I need another three. And then I need like 13 more rocks. And then I just need to work out about the uh, the bamboo then uh, for the main hall. That's either going to be something like I have to plant the bamboo somewhere or it'll be... Um, Basically, if I don't find the bamboo in the new area, then I know I'm going to have to uh, work something out. But if it's just there in the new area, then I'll be like, well, that was all, all that was about, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a look at my bag. Let's see how many stone I've got. We're up to 
13 now. So, there's a load of salamanders. Oh gosh, okay, I don't really want to mess with you too much, but I, I maybe I need to. But it doesn't take any stamina to kill enemies, so that's really good. We're getting cultivation points for it. So, I believe the obsidian guys start on... Oh, no, I don't want to come back to Misty Valley. Uh, start on the second floor. I think it's over here somewhere. So, if I can try and get a couple of those guys, I might be able, by the end of the day... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh look, there's some obsidian to mine here as well, so if I pop away my sword, i just mine it out. I got one for that. I'm nine now, so I don't need too much more. I'll just get my sword out. Oh, and there's another obsidian. Perfect. Mine that. Mine some more rocks. Have a look in my bag. I need three more rocks. One more rock. Got just enough. Just enough stamina to do it. So we've done that. I just need to sell some more stuff. Um, so what I would probably say is I'm going to get some of those soybeans. Out of my chest. And sell those, I think. Keeping the tomatoes. Can't grow them for another for a little while anyway. Let's have a look at the uh, calendar actually. Is that the calendar? I know there was a calendar somewhere. There we are. Oh, it's a, it's beside the the world map. So we still are just about halfway through spring. So we've got another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days worth. It looks like it's Lee's birthday today. Oh, I don't really know what to get her. Need to find out more about what these people like as presents, don't I? But I never put too much pressure on myself to, to do too much in the first spring of any game like this because they are clearly meant to be going on for a bit longer than that and um, so if i just uh, sell you some soybeans if i sell you like i don't even need to sell you that many if i just sell you like 10 that should be enough all i could do with planting some more seeds as well so well, i don't have much stamina to do it with though <laughs> Right, so let's open up this. Uh... What? How? How do I have four thousand spirit stones all of a sudden? I'm so confused. Did I have like three point seven five or something, or did something happen where I got loads? I mean, the Krill got me 500. I gave Krill to someone. I did sell quite a lot of stuff. Maybe I just didn't realise how much I sold when I was selling all the fish. But anyway, never mind. I have lots of money. Yay. <laughs> Do let me know in the comments if you if you can work out what I did. Um... Oh, 
Those health essences. They're the watering gourd. Interesting. And black sand. The pickaxe actually shouldn't be too difficult. If I go and chop down a few trees and go and get some uh, replacement obsidian, that shouldn't be too hard to upgrade, actually. Now, how long does it take? Yeah, I have a good axe. Awesome. Now, I may need to sleep just to have enough, like, uh, <laughs> stamina to, to actually check that out. see I'm gonna need stamina to use the axe properly I think so yeah okay let's have a sleep I desperately need to have a sleep I'd like to try and uh, get myself a nice new a nice new uh, bed as well so I recover a little bit faster I received another paper crane. What? Uh, lady, I picked a lot of edible wildflowers in the sunset forest today. They taste really good. Have a taste. Oh, lovely. So apparently you can just get through there, can you now? I haven't even, like, properly gotten rid of the vines but apparently apparently you can get through there already there's a lot of lumber here apparently I'm looking for bamboo but there seems to be wildflowers and trees in said sunset forest. There are some bamboo shoots as well, which is fantastic. That might be enough for me to finish that quest off. Okay, I wonder if these bamboos here are a chockable. Yeah, they are. This is where you get it. That's wonderful. I got some superior bamboo as well. Maybe when I get my pickaxe upgraded, I'll start getting the uh, superior. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I'm getting superior because it's an upgraded axe. Ah, hmm. Yeah, I think I know how to get all the stuff now. That's fantastic. Very happy with that. Very, very, very happy. Why am I uh, why am I picking up magic? I'm picking it up because I'm like, ooh, it's pretty and sparkly and I don't actually need it. So yes, apologies for me being so dumb there. <laughs> but yeah, I found a lot of cool stuff here, which is rather wonderful. Some interesting flowers and things as well. So yeah, I could definitely get some nice lumber, get some bamboo. What do I need for that main hall again? It was bamboo. It was 20 bamboo, wasn't it? So I should get the 20 bamboo. And see if we can get the, the main hall started on. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I've got money. All right, so how are we doing for bamboo now? 15. Another two, maybe? Imagine over time that will regenerate, hopefully, anyway. Let us hope. So how many bamboo shoots do I have now? I've got seven, eight, nine. Oh, man. Hello. Song. Song Yantong. What's up? I don't feel like talking now. That's so cool that you're like here and I can maybe talk to you sometimes. 
Man, I need, I need to go and just check if I've got enough stuff for the haul now. Or the workshop or whatever. I've got money for more my fishing. Oh, yeah, I sold all those expensive, like, uh, food recipes as well, didn't I? So, it doesn't surprise me that I got quite a bit of money. They were a thousand just on their own. Hello, Lee, Lee, hello, hello. Got a quest for me. Hermit in the forest. Oh. Lady, I saw a mysterious girl in the sunset forest. Actually, I saw her too. Right. The girl was dressed in black and wore a veil. Every time I talked to her, she never said a word and just did what she was doing. That's weird. Speaking of it, why would someone live in seclusion in the sunset forest? She could only get there through the misty valley. Is she related to someone, or sorry, someone related to the green insect? I'll go ask Yang. Okay, that girl was very beautiful. I really want to ask her to join the green insect if I could. Just because she was beautiful, like what if she has literally no talents at all? She's just beautiful, so she, she needs to join the sect. Also, there's something up there. I need to know what it is. It's glowing at me. And the last time I something was glowing at me, I got seeds from it, so. No! I don't want to be in here. I want to be at the glowy thing. <laughs> Something glowing there. I don't even know what it is. I'll get to it. Can I jump. Aha! Empty hands are required. That means I can get something. Ah, oh, it's another green jade ring. Ho ho ho! Oh yeah. More inventory space for me. Right, let's see if I've got enough stuff to do the main hall yet. That would be wonderful if I could. Let's have a look. So what was it we needed? I'm trying yeah, to remember. Uh... I'm trying to remember, but I can't remember. We only have 17 lumber, do we? And I've only got one stone. Oh, wonderful. So I have enough spirit stones and I have enough bamboo. I need 25 obsidian, 50 stone, and 100 lumber. Okay. 25 obsidian is going to take me ages. I could go and work on the 100 lumber, so 50 stone, 25 obsidian. Or the workshop. I actually only need 40 lumber, 25 stone, and 10 obsidian. I need superior stone for the... Okay. Man, I don't know what to spend all my money on and all my stuff, all my... Yeah. I need so much obsidian. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, but we've run out of time. I'm gonna have to do all of that next time, and by then I've probably forgotten what I need, but... <laughs> Lots of obsidian, lots of stone, and lots of lumber seem to be the order of the day. And also, fishing is awesome, apparently. So, um, I'm gonna take the bamboo shoot quest because I feel like I'll be able to do it in time. I don't know about the, the whole carpet quest, though. I don't think I'll be able to do that in time. <laughs> but I'm gonna run back to my house for now. Um... I, d I think that did. I think yesterday I maybe forgot to water my crops as well, so I haven't checked on them in a, in a, in a wee while. Oh, look! They're all ready and nice. Cool. The jujubees are ready. And cabbage is also ready. So, yeah, I'm going to need to buy some more seeds and. Uh, harvest them next time so i think what i'll do is i won't sleep i will just go over to the save point and i will save for the end of the episode and then next time we'll come back uh, if i remember where the save point actually is and then the next time we'll come back to the save point rather than to me having slept because we're kind of halfway through the day i've still got a whole bunch of stamina left so i don't think we particularly need to have a sleep right now but we are right at the end of the episode regardless so i hope you enjoyed this episode i had a blast actually recording it if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome